Hello my friends, I'm Professor Hans von Puppet. Today we'll be taking a look at a Euro-inspired area enclosure worker placement bluffing game, which is heavy on downtime, but still gateway-ish and fiddly. With an Hello. Today we'll be talking about deck building. And deck building can be two things. It can be where you build the deck before you play the game, or a game where building the deck is part of the game. So in, for example, Ascension, which I have here, every player starts with the same identical 10 cards. And they look like this. They have two different monetary values. They are runes and we have combat. And those two are the only ones used in the base game of Ascension. On my turn, I can use these cards and play with the runes here to acquire more cards and put them together with these into my own personal discard pile. Then I draw new cards from my draw pile, my own draw pile. If I need to draw more cards from my draw pile, these cards here will be shuffled and become a new draw pile with the new cards that I bought previously rounds. So this way I'm building the deck within the game. There are many popular games using this mechanism and, well, we have uh, Ascension, of course, and Pixel Lincoln, and Legendary Encounters, or just Legendary, plain old, and even uh, Big Book of Madness using deck building and Mage Knight, and uh, Dominion. The other kind of deck building is when you have literally hundreds and thousands of cards to choose from, and you can pick and choose from these cards and build your own personal deck before the game begins. So, this is my customized deck, which I'm going to use to beat the game or beat you, if I'm playing you. So, these are two kinds of deck building you have in the board gaming world. Well, I hope that cleared things up for you. Until next time, have fun gaming.